Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into a breaking story that's got the hip hop world buzzing. Yo Gotti has been warned that he could be the next rapper facing serious legal trouble. WAC 100, the controversial music manager known for managing names like The Game, 6 9 and Blueface, has made some explosive claims. He says Yo Gotti's ties to the murder of Young Dolph might lead to handcuffs. So let's unpack everything that's been revealed and what this could mean for Yo Gotti. So this all starts with WAC 100 stirring the pot on Clubhouse. While discussing Young Dolph's murder trial, WAC warned Yo Gotti to say his prayers, hinting that Gotti might be next in line to face charges. Here's the deal. During the trial, one of Dolph's killers, Cornelia Smith, testified that Yo Gotti's record label, CMG, allegedly paid $50,000 for his lawyer after he was arrested for Dolph's murder. This raised his eyebrows because Smith also claimed he and Justin Johnson, the other gunman, shot Dolph to collect a $100,000 bounty from Gotti's brother, Big Jook, who was killed earlier this year. That's a heavy accusation. And WAC 100 believes prosecutors might even label CMG as a gang in this case, which could spell serious trouble for Gotti. That yo Gotti, say your prayers. You better say your prayers. You know they coming, don't you? You they know they coming, hey, show facts, bro. Facts, that's facts. Hey, bro, that nigga got up there and said, they said, didn't CMG pay for your attorney 50000 Yeah. But they didn't give it to me. He said, yeah. But they paid for it because you killed off, right? Yeah. Well, that was your compensation, right? Mm. See, him, see him nigga said, well, yeah, they gave the attorney 50000 Yeah, because I killed off. You dead. He was the exec of that company. That's your brother. That's finna get, that's next, watch, remember I told you. Ooh, yeah, wouldn't, it be, wouldn't it be smart to blame it on the dead man, though? No, no he was part of the yeah. company. Yeah, they saying okay. CMG, yeah. they gonna classify it as a game. Dang. They gonna try to thug it. Now let's let's do the math. CMG and PRE shooting all at the, you know, the back in the Carolinas. Motherfuckers doing so, shot the sprinter a hundred times, bulletproof. Dead. P.R.E.F. That gonna take that shit and paint the perfect movie. These two things are game. And your gang paid this dude, attorney, 50000 because you hired him to do a hit for 100 They coming. Damn. I heard that. I said, y'all didn't hear that shit? Yeah, I, I heard it when he was testifying. Oh, was my God. I said, oh, damn. Let's talk about the testimony that has everyone pointing fingers. Cornelia Smith testified that after the hit on Young Dolph, he was supposed to get a $40,000 cut from that $100,000 bounty. But get this, he only received $800 before being arrested. What's more shocking, Smith revealed that someone from CMG came through with $50,000 to cover his legal fees after the murder charges were filed. That connection between CMG, the lawyer, and Dolph's killers is what WAC is harping on. WAC also mentioned the infamous 2017 shooting in North Carolina, where over 100 bullets were fired at Dolph's SUV. He believes prosecutors might connect that incident to CMG, framing it as gang violence, further tightening the noose around Yogati. Now, if you've been following this saga, you know the beef between Young Dolph and Yogati runs deep. The tension dates back to 2016, and things got heated in 2017 when an associate of Yogati's was arrested after Dolph's SUV SUV was shot up in Los Angeles. The charges didn't stick, but that incident only fueled the fire. Fast forward to 2021, and Dolph's murder shocked the entire community. The ties to Yogati and his brother Big Jook only complicate matters further. And with this new testimony, things could go from bad to worse for Yogati if prosecutors decide to dig deeper into his connections. So what's next for Yogati? Right now, these are just warnings from WAC 100, but they're based on some very serious accusations and courtroom testimonies. If prosecutors do decide to charge Yogati or investigate CMG, this could be one of the biggest cases we've seen in hip hop. For now, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you believe Yo Gotti could be next? Or is this just more speculation? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all the latest from the Red Carpet Reup. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.